ช่เทคโนโลยีอัลเทนิกอลลงข้ามเมตรงมาลงเรืออเมริกาตะวันลงเรือมองตะวันตกเป็นมองไปองค์กินนู่นนี่เลยรู้สึกชาดูเฉลยรู้จะเป็นเจ้าหนูยังรู้จีนจีนแต่ไม่หายมองยังยิ่งพันกี่ไม่หายมองยังยิ่งหายแต่เองยังมีเรื่องจะไปยกมือลงจงลำตาจงจางทำว่าอย่าไปยุ่งจูรุ่นหน้ารุ่นจูยุ่งจูรุ่นใหญ่รุ่นจูเป็นย่ออินุลัยนุอินทิจอยจีจุนประโยชน์ย่อมในเมตตาจุนจูรุ่งจงเอาตายรุ่งจงเข้าเป็นตัวตัดเด็กที่ดีกว่ารุ่งจงเอาย้อนสาวรุ่งรุ่งเป็นรุ่งย่อเลยเราเจอเจอเจอพวกเจอเจอพวกเจอเจออยู่ชั้นรู้เหรอเจอตรงนู้นเราคงจะรู้ชั้นนู้นชั้นชั้นตรงนู้นเราเป็นมุมรู้รู้ไม่กูหายพวกเจอแบบนี้พวกเจอเจอเจอเราเราเราเจอเราเราบ้างคนจงชาคาเฟ่ชูเลงกับจูยาหยาบเซ็ตโอเทอร
Please rise for the national anthem.
Sun Zina, be your B, be your opening program. Thought you, Chairman, mind you. Mind you, little show shot here. ยังยองเชื่อไปเจ้าเจอชู้ลิงเจอตื่นยังยองกูสาเหยื่อตอนท้อเจอเจ้าโน้เจ้าอัวเราหมดเจอเจเนียเจอจีเจอวิ่งเ
Thank you so much and happy new year. Sonzino Guyolo who just sponsors La Shao Shatia. La Shao Hongde. Alliance Home Improvement LLC. Lending Hands Healthcare Inc. Miracle Home Health of Wisconsin, Kashia Senior Center, and Ox Cafe, Wisdoms, in loving memory of Adam Vu, ATTY Tarina Franklin, Family Home Healthcare LLC, UWM Madison, MATC New Leaf Home Care LLC Stride 365 INC Hmong Wisconsin Chamber of Commerce Associated Bank United Healthcare At Home Personal Care Pharmacy RPM Body Work LLC HMKE Real Estate Group Homestead Realty Inc. AT&T WUCMAA BMO Harris Bank Landmark Credit Union Children Hospital Children Community Health Plan Cargill, Maximus, U.S. Bank, If your name has been called, please come in front of the stage. You can come from the right side and move along down. Well, thank you very much. And uh, looks like some of our sponsors are kind of shy. So please do come on stage. We have a lot of sponsors this year, and I thank you for that. Well, right now it's very, it's very special. We got two titles sponsored this year, and I wanted to invite Forest County Potawatomi Community and Foundation, Mr. Manny Johnson, Forest County Potawatomi Tribal Treasurer, to come up here and say a few words. They are our title sponsor, and they have been our title sponsor for the last 20 years. So, please welcome Mr. Manny Johnson. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Bonjour. I'm Manny Johnson, Forest County Potawatomi Treasurer, and I'd like to say thank you for the invite. I'm honored to be here today. I understand, much like in our own tribe, a cultural uh, events like this are very important to the next generation. We're able to have knowledge, so we're able to pass those things down to the next generation. We've got pride, which gives us a stronger sense of community amongst ourselves, but also the greater community, and also love. We as ourselves feel the same types of uh, emotions, cultural celebrations like this, and I'm very proud to be here today. Uh, the tribe, is always appreciated the association with the Hmong community and I look forward to many many years to come thank you
done with me, okay? Oh, why don't you stay on stage? Why don't you stay on stage? So this year we were fortunate enough to have two title sponsors and it is my pleasure to introduce Dr. Mark Lotus. He is our Vice President and Chief Medical Officer of Population Health from the Freighter and Medical College of Wisconsin. Thank you and thank you all. Good morning. I'm Dr. Mark Lotus. I am the Vice President and Chief Medical Officer for Population Health for Freighter and the Medical College of Wisconsin. It's quite a privilege to be with you uh, here today. First of all, on behalf of Freighter and the Medical College of Wisconsin Health Network, thank you for honoring us with the Title Sponsor Award. This award reinforces our Health Network's commitment to the Hmong community. It recognizes the community partnerships that make the annual Hmong New Year celebration a successful and valuable event. And it supports our unwavering dedication to serving diverse populations and eliminating healthcare disparities. Greater in the Medical College of Wisconsin Health Network is committed to providing the best possible outcomes for all of our patients. Events like the Hmong New Year keep us connected to the communities we serve. We're very thankful to reconnect with you in person after these many months apart due to the COVID-19 pandemic. This is our fifth year offering a health screening booth at the Hmong New Year celebration. Screenings are important now more than ever. We know that about 41% of Americans have delayed or avoided their medical care due to the pandemic. That includes getting screened for cancer. National and regional data suggest that many of our black, indigenous, people of color, and Asian populations have lower rates of cancer screenings and vaccination rates for preventable diseases when compared to white populations. Our health network is taking steps to identify barriers to accessing care and to ensure that these gaps are eliminated. We are providing solutions for needed transportation, creating more weekend and evening op options for care, expanding virtual visits, and finding convenient ways for our patients to do the right thing for their health. Our health network partnerships have made many things possible for our Hmong communities. That includes our longstanding relationship with the Hmong American Friendship Association. We look forward to continuing that partnership in 2022 and beyond. Thank you all and best wishes for a happy and healthy new year. Thank you. We will be having our dignitary remark. Thank you so much for all the sponsors. You can now take your seat, so thank you very much. Our next segment, our next award is the Champion Award each year. New Year celebration, we give this champion award to agency, friends, individuals that make a huge impact in our community. As you know, year 2020 and 2021 has been the hardest year of many of us, our lives, the pandemic, COVID-19, and also hate crime, Asian hate crime. First, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the COVID-19, the pandemic. March of 2020, it hit all of us, and we we're like, what is the new norms? Many of us were scared. We never thought that it could happen in a place like America. But COVID-19 hit, everybody's scared. We see our loved ones left and right dying, left and right getting sick. We're scared to go outside. We're scared to socialize. Of course, we're social animals, and of course, we want to socialize. 
but it makes it really hard. It's hard to know what is facts, what are truth, what are fiction, especially this whole bunch of stuff on TV. And it, it scares all people, it scares all community. I want to give this award, this next award, to Milwaukee Nyajong TV. They are very instrumental in educating our, educating our community. They develop the COVID-19 video prevention video that help educate our community what are facts and what are lies and what, sh what should we do to help ourselves, our family, our community. And it is because of this video that we're able to help a lot of people. Within three months, this video reached 200,000 viewers and their platforms. It's just incredible. Before I introduce Nyojo Milwaukee TV here, I also want to give thanks to the funder. If it wasn't for the funder, we will not, this will not happen. I want to thank the Wisconsin Department of Health Services. Because of your funding and grants, we're able to create this video to help our Hmong people understand COVID-19 and be saved, and at the same time, live a life normally. So right now, I want to introduce Milwaukee Nyajong TV as a 2020 and 2021 Champion Award to Milwaukee Nyajong TV. I'd like to introduce the CEO, Mr. Tai Ying of Milwaukee Nyajong TV up here. Please give Tai a welcome. And his wife, Dawn. I'd like to thank um, the Milwaukee Consortium and the Milwaukee Hmong New Year for this honor of uh, being the community champion. Um, with the help of many Hmong organizations such as Hmong American Family, Xi Yi, 18th Clan Council of Wisconsin, and many of our Hmong community members, we were able to bring COVID-19 and vaccination information to our uh, to, to our Yajong Milwaukee platform. We were able to reach hundreds and thousands of people across the nation and even around the world. I'd like to thank each of our collaborating partners, funders, colleagues, and especially our viewers for your support. These past two years have gave, given us many challenges to face, but I hope for us to all keep positive and to care for one another as a community. I encourage everyone to get fully vaccinated so that we can protect ourselves and our loved ones. By getting vaccinated, we're able to do things like we're doing today by having these events and get back to a sense of normalcy. Last of all, I'd like to thank all the attendees here for supporting Milwaukee Hmong New Year, and I'd like to wish good health for everybody and may God bless each and every one of you with good health for the next coming year. Thank you. Well, thank you very much, Milwaukee and Yajong TV. You guys are just very uh, instrumental in helping our community gain the knowledge of COVID-19. The next war, the next champion of war, I want to give it to Associate, we want to give it to Associate Bank. They have been very instrumental in fighting, helping us fight against hate crime. You know, to add insult to injury, COVID-19, is that we have a roller coaster of incidents of hate crime across the state, the whole United States, where you see Asians, old men, old women get beat up on the news, 
and the killing in Atlanta. It's very unfortunate things like that happen. And you begin to wonder if this is the norm of America, and I hope not. Sometimes being in that situation, being Asian, we don't know how to act or how to react. It's got to the point where we don't know who's our friend and who's our foe. But on top of all, we have friends in the community at large, like Associate Bank, community members, that help that stand up for us, Asian. Associate Bank has been very instrumental in giving us the resource to help fight against hate crime. And I really appreciate you guys so much. And I hope that all the agency would stand by us. And I know that many will stand by us. And we're not alone, guys. We're Asian, we're not alone. We have friends out there and who's gonna pour their heart and soul and we're gonna help each other. We're gonna be united so there's no more hate in America. I'd like to present to you my friend, Mr. William Cup. His last name is Horace Mine. Cup Cup. Cup Cup, that's right. Mine's Kira Case is Cup Cup. And I, he's a wonderful person, a wonderful friend, and also a wonderful member of the Associate Bank team. So thank you so much for coming. And I want uh, please welcome Mr. Bill Copcott. Truly want to attribute what, what our support is, is to Hoffa's mission. Hoffa's done a lot to support the AAPI community, and particularly the Hmong community in Milwaukee, and I want to state firmly that Associated Bank stands with the AAPI community, and we are humbled to be recognized at the event, and excited to be part of Hmong New Year coming back together in 2021 after a year off. So thank you very much, Lomang. I appreciate your friendship. I appreciate the contributions of Hoffa. Hoffa's done a lot in the way of advocating for the community, the Hmong community, around home ownership, around financial literacy, along food security, and really importantly around cultural security and making sure that the Hmong community retains every thread of its rich heritage. So thank you very much, Lene. Thank you very much, Bill. Thank you, Associate Bank. Thank you. All right, next, it's uh, my honor to really um, to, to, to invite our special guests, our dignitary, for a short remark. I am sure that each of our special guests, our sp special speaker, have a long list of accomplishments. But I am not going to uh, read all of the accomplishments to you all, uh, except to stick to, just to the title, to their title. So to keep it short, uh, next will be Lieutenant Governor Mandela Barn. So please welcome on stage for a short remark. All right, just want to say thank you one more time. Uh, again, I'm Mandela Barnes. I am the 45th Lieutenant Governor of the great state of Wisconsin, and I'm so excited to be here to celebrate uh, Mung New Year. It is truly an honor anytime I'm able uh, to participate and spend time with the community. And just a month ago, I was actually in Warsaw for the grand opening of the largest Southeast Asian collection in the United States. There was all sorts of memorabilia, all sorts of keepsakes, things we were able uh, to see and learn about Hmong culture, not just uh, here in Wisconsin, but across this entire country. And I am so proud, we should all be so proud, that Wisconsin has the third largest Hmong population in the entire United States of America. We all know that the diversity of our community is our strength. We all know that we are stronger and better together. So I'm honored to have this invitation. I want to thank everybody for the incredibly hard work. I want to thank uh, everyone here in the Milwaukee area for everything you do to make us stronger as one. No longer can we be divided. No longer will we let the unfortunate incidents that we saw last year take place. It's important for all of us to stand up, to speak up, to demand more, and to do everything we can do to take care of one another. So uh, on behalf of myself, on behalf of Governor Tony Evers, I just want to say thank you so much. And I want us all to recognize that our knowledge is our power. It is the way that we fight ignorance. And I'd be remiss if I didn't 
take a moment to specifically acknowledge the pain of the larger AAPI community across the state and across this country. It, it reminds me that we have to hold a special place in our hearts and our spirits and especially in the work that we do for all communities that continue to be marginalized. And I'm proud to be a part of an administration that made us our mission to lead with equity in mind that understands and appreciates and values the diversity and truly values and appreciates the experiences and the culture of among Wisconsinites. So again, thank you so much. Happy New Year, and thank you for letting me celebrate with you. Thank you so much, uh, Lieutenant Governor Mandela Barn, to give uh, us a short remark. Next, I would like you uh, all to help me welcome on stage State Representative Francesca Hong. State Representative Francesca Hong, please. Welcome on stage. Asian American State Representative uh, and member of the state legislature. Uh, currently the only, um, and it's not always a great place to be, but I think it's important to talk about why representation matters. I'm often asked why I ran for office, having no political experience, um, being a mom, being a restaurant worker, um, what compelled me to run for office. And I think it was because, one, I was grieving, and two, there was a lack of understanding of what collective struggle really means to a community, and how that collective struggle can spark action. Because representation does matter, and yes, leadership matters too, but it's how we define that that matters the most. And it's in becoming a representative and traveling around the state and meeting with other Asian American communities, Asian communities, and specifically the Hmong communities, where I've learned the importance of what representation really means. And it's from Hmong neighbors that I've learned that representation is what we decide to make it, both on a collective level and on an individual one. I learned that representation is community, it's resilience, it's our stories, our lived experiences, and a compassionate understanding about how that is care. And that's what's needed in politics today. Um, many in the Hmong community and I, especially our Hmong youth here, our Hmong queer folks, our Hmong moms, our elders, we're going to be the one, uh, maybe the only, maybe the first in our different spaces at different institutions. And at times that's going to be deeply isolating. But know that there are people who support you, people who know that responsibility can also be a burden, but it's also a celebration. So to be Hmong, I've learned, is to be proud, is to be welcoming, and to lead. And I am so incredibly honored that this community has been so welcoming of me. Oftentimes when I'm mistaken for being Hmong, I'm like, I wish. So I encourage everyone here to think about what leadership means to you, to think about what representation means to you, and run for office. Thanks, all. State Representative Francesca Hong, thank you for your uh, thank you for your remark. Uh, the uh, Milwaukee County Sheriff Lucas, so please walk on stage. Thank you, thank you so much, and thank all of you for coming out here today to celebrate this wonderful New Year's celebration. The story of the Hmong people is truly an American story of people who fought alongside the Allied troops in the war, and then to leave their country, leave their land, to come to a new land, and to integrate into this society, and then to go on and become leaders in the community, doctors, lawyers, teachers, and yes, even police officers. This is truly a celebration, a celebration of the Hmong people, and what a great people we are, pursuing the American dream of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Let there be peace on earth and goodwill toward all humanity. Thank you all very much and may God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, ladies and gentlemen, please uh, help me give a big round of applause to all our speakers. All right? So, 
Thank you for all your remarks. Thank you. Thank you for being here today. You know, from, for several years now, it's been my pleasure and my honor to bring you the Man and Woman of the Year. You know, it's always even more nice 
for me when I know the people personally, and this year is, is just that way. Um, I've gotten to know the people, a lot of people in the one community, but these two I've known for a while, and I've gotten to be friends with them, so I'm very happy. My first uh, uh, recipient is Dawn Yang. Dawn, can you come on up? Dawn is thankful for her parents were able to relocate to the U.S. in 1976 to escape the persecution faced by Hmong people after the Vietnam War. Growing up, she saw firsthand the multitude of barriers her refugee parents faced in the new country. Dawn saw her parents struggle to adjust to a new language and new culture while providing for their growing family. Through her determination, Dawn was the first in her family to graduate with a bachelor's degree in business management from Alverno College in 1997. Dawn has recently awarded the 2021 Professional Dimensions Imprint Award for her trailblazing leadership and significant impact within a community. Drawing on her own family's experience, Dawn developed a passion for advocating for underserved communities. As the owner of Alternative Family Services, LLC, Dawn was able to provide hundreds of individuals living with multiple barriers to achieve financial stability and obtain affordable housing, significantly improving the quality of their lives. Dawn is also committed to providing positive and valuable information to the underserved Hmong and AAPI community. She is the co-owner and general manager of the first over-the-air Hmong newscast in southeastern Wisconsin, Najah, Milwaukee. It is a monthly broadcast supplemented by viewings through social media platforms. When the COVID-19 pandemic emerged, there was a great deal of misunderstanding and misinformation in the Hmong community, among community elders and other refugees whose English was limited. Dawn played a key role in building partnerships between Najong TV and community agencies, such as with the Hmong American Friendship Association, to produce a, a series of videos about the coronavirus in the Hmong language. The videos also included an overview of COVID-19, dispelling myths about the COVID-19 vaccination and to encourage everyone to get vaccinated in the Hmong community. Through Dawn's tireless efforts to boost viewership through multiple social media platforms, these educational videos have been viewed by well over 150,000 people. Dawn's diligent efforts to disseminate the vital information timely have undoubtedly saved many lives in the Hmong community, not only in Wisconsin, but in the United States. Dawn enjoys traveling, spending time with family and friends. Dawn continuously strives to expand her own skills as an influential, influential community partner and enjoys building new partnerships and meeting people. So Dawn, congratulations. For being the Hmong Woman of the Year. Congratulations. Thank you, Don. Nya Jong, Soling Sotu, Jong Shia Ne Shadow Ching, Ji Ki Naka Nya Jong, Tia Jong Na Ne Ching, Mua Lu Chang Yu Wa Bi Shadow Ching Tau, Ko Nya Oke, Tia Ne Ching Tang Ne Lu Shi Ha, Tung Ta Be Na Be Lu Ma Wa Ki Chia Be Chao, Gu Sao O Chao Tro Mo American Friendship Association, Shi Yi Tia Mo. Mwaki Pong Consortium or Ne Ching Sai Tao Gu La Shi Ne Ching Jia Gu Sen Ji Wa Bei Hao Lu Gu Wa Wa Ne Shi Ru Jiao Do Ka Award Na Ji Ta Lin Da Su Gu Yi Bao Hai Tu Gu Mo Mo Wa Ta Zi Hao Lu La Mo Ba Tao Bei Bei Sing Shi Da Tia Ji Ta Lin Da Nya Tai U Ching Mo A do um, opportunity, let's see, the opportunity to uh, utilize Nya Jong Milwaukee TV, the Mo Tanka Be Je Jotia, the Big Hai Ning Hong, Tokana, Gusa, Ochoto, Gutuzi, Nya Tai, Ya or Nu Jing Kuku Hing, Kunjon Hong Hondu, the Mo Ba Tanka, Lu, Chebe Tiana Tia, to Ya or Ne. Uh, 
我找到那天,那天给路,我找到姑娘,姑,姑,姑,姑,姑,姑,姑,姑,姑,姑,姑,姑,姑,姑,姑,姑,姑,姑,姑,姑,姑,姑,姑,姑,姑,姑,姑,
Oyang the man of the year Toku go on nature the job. Moabeya, Wakusashi, a donation dog, what your door can they do or not? Gone in Baudia, Yavilija, Utia Totsai, Lumen Mong, Oyang the man of the year. It ho, Lord Tiajong, Yakupa, Tiajlu, Bajan, Yazi, Yalo, Kushai, you are low, Blue low, Malo. ตูเลยเทียเลยก่อเลยนอกกันย้อนจงมัวนึงป้าเลยโอ้โหลืมเจ้าเลยก่อเลยมัวซาเชียนเดย์จองเดย์กูต่อป้าไปจอนนึงห
走了路呢，第二个呢就苦，就药，就苦，了对面药，比别人多点能吃了。到那古道街、街巴、北角门，我牛壳多，顶乌多，哎，那时候就包着带给家，还点有门我上山里家，有鸟里家，那多到古 office， 哎，古人到班呢，天白讲不落。我莫对他们道呀，还做好给我，一上二上头了呢。哎，那老弟啊，来要莫被叫点人杀到家的屋，哎，我都晓得人才铁车行，哎，那叫年纪我莫叫没用，铁莫叫这个，我那只能要做杀的屋，那多几股工作那上头杀到电脑煮，搞来去炒么？那叫人杀到家。เที่ยวก่อนเราไม่จอกใจนอนเฉยเตยวีไปตัวยกขอนอย่าไปเตยไปเฉยอย่าไปเจไปจอดเลยตีอู่ไปจีมวดช้างมวดเจเที่ยวตีอู่เฉยอย่าไปเตยเฉยเลยเรามุ่งเราจีมวดเฉยนอนเตยนอนอย่าเตยกูป้าเนี่ยเที่ยวเตยหัวกูป้าไปจงมองเฉยเลยอย่าไปคอล้อเที่ยวคอหัวชัวโตเตียจังจังเกินเก่าวัวโตเตยนอนชื่อเมกากูป่อเตียไปมองมวดจอดจอดตอนเราโมเตตั้งเหมือนนอกเขียตอนเราก่อนเลยที่รีบเทียเมื่อตอนเตาอย่าหัวกูเตาป้าไปจอมมงเสดอเตาขอไอ้กูวันนี้เสดอเจ้ากูเปียเอาไปอย่าลีนอซื้อทองเตากูกูวันนี้เจ้าหัวนี้เสดอลูกกูเชิงกากูเทียป้ากูเทียตัวเสดอกูอีชานอยากกูป้อนเนี่ยอเมริกาเตียเมื่อจงอีตุสินังเยอะยอจุมเมื่อจงอีตุเนี่ยเจียงต่อกาป้าเทียเอตุนอยากกูป้อนเนี่ยกูทอเป้เสดอในมัวเตจงกูป้อนเนี่ยเทียกูปนเนี่ยยอดตัวน้อว่าจนเราขอเอวอลว่าน้องน้ากูเตาใจเตาลุ่นจงเมวกีน้อเทียไปจังมงยอวิสคาสน้อเทียลุ่นเชไปเจ้าน้อในมัวปูตะกูยอดตันทอไปจังมงยอดไปจังมงยอดสินังมงเตียตัวน้ากูมุฟี่ตัวเนี่ยเฉดไปสวดตัวน้ายอดไปเรียนตันทอไอ้ว่าจนเรา Thank you so much for the work you do in the community.
Thank you.